Each year, we are uh, very happy to welcome uh, a partner in safety with AOPA. And with that, Paul Darris, from the a he's the AOPA Director of Education at the AOPA Air Safety Institute. He's going to give out a couple of awards like they do each year. Thank you for uh, having him. We're glad to have him here. And uh, thank you, Paul, if you'll come up stage. He's coming from this direction. Yep. <laughs> Oh, thank you and good evening. This is an exciting time to be here to recognize everyone's great efforts. Uh, great bunch of people. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here. Uh, earlier, Administrator Huerta had touched on the fact that none of you would consider yourselves to be heroes. At his first inaugural address in 1981, Ronald Reagan said, those who say we're, we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. Well, we don't have to look very far tonight because of all of you, including your colleagues who aren't here this evening, are heroes. And your work of keeping pilots safe, however ordinary it may seem to you, is always viewed by pilots as extraordinary. So thank you. The Air Safety Institute is the arm of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association. General aviation pilots from around the world participate in our training more than two million times a year. And some of our most popular and important work has been the result of partnering with NACA over the years to help educate both controllers and pilots. One way of expressing our gratitude to NACA and its controllers is presenting the AOPA Air Safety Institute Flight Assist Commendation. The commendation was designed to recognize controllers who, in particular, provided outstanding assistance to general aviation pilots. In selecting commendation recipients, we looked for controllers who identified safety risk and implemented appropriate responses before the situation worsened. Those who demonstrated initiative, teamwork, professionalism, and a calm demeanor, especially when pilots were distressed and disoriented. And ultimately, those who help pilots land safely without incident. The Air Safety Institute is honored to recognize the following controllers. First, from the Eastern Region, John Karmbach, New York Tracon. Kevin Maney will be accepting the award on John's behalf. John's exceptional coordination skills and calm demeanor helped a distressed pilot whose Piper Lance suffered complete electrical failure at night leaving him with only his cell phone for communicating with ATC. John's outstanding service resulted in guiding the pilot to a safe landing. Next, from the Great Lakes region, Eric Miner, Chicago Midway Tower. Loss of control is a safety topic common to many pilots, but not loss of a tire, especially in flight. While taking off Chicago Midway, a Challenger jet lost a tire upon takeoff unbeknownst to the flight crew. Eric was very resourceful in solving the mystery of the missing tire, and his exceptional coordination efforts with the appropriate HC facilities downstream resulted in a safe landing without incident. Also from the Great Lakes region, Matt Rebus and John Perksack, Detroit Metro Tracon. Matt will be accepting the awards for both himself and on John's behalf. Matt and John assisted a Piper Aerostar pilot who experienced GPS and compass failures while flying an IMC. Their teamwork and expertise helped to reorient the pilot to a safe landing. From the southern region, Darren Tummelson, Memphis Center. After the pilot of a Piper Cheyenne declared an emergency after losing an engine, Darren's exceptional service and experience himself as a multi-engine pilot guided the stressed pilot to a safe landing. From the Western Pacific region, William Mitchell and Eddie Uris, SoCal Tracon. Joel Ortiz will be accepting the awards on behalf of William and Eddie. William and Eddie demonstrated exceptional teamwork while helping a serious pilot who had difficulty navigating and maintaining altitude. Their professionalism and outstanding service helped reorient the pilot while guiding him to a safe landing. And also from the Western Pacific region, last but not least, Greg Schildmeyer, Los Angeles Center. 
Lynn Pauley will be accepting the award on Greg's behalf. Greg took the initiative to declare an emergency for a Bonanza pilot who picked up ice at night while flying an IMC. His outstanding effort guided the pilot to an alternate airport where he landed safely without incident. Please join me in congratulating these fine controllers.